Today, we're discussing the Luxonis Oak D. I mean, this thing is kind of like a Raspberry Pi on steroids built for computer vision. It's got a 4K camera. It's got the ability to do real-time object detection. It smashed records on Kickstarter, raising over 1.2 million. I mean, what makes this device so special? Yeah, we are really excited about this device over here at RebelFlow, and the reasons for that are numerous. Um, first of all, it's got a very high resolution camera. Um, it has the ability to triangulate depth, which we'll go into a little bit more here in a bit. And then it also has the ability to do real-time inference by parsing uh, neural network tensors very fast on the back here with the uh, Movidius VPU. And the Movidius VPU is essentially a replacement for a GPU. So this is what the computer is gonna be using as it's taking images in, transforming them into tensors, running that through a model very quickly, and then spitting inference back out for you at the end. Um, and so uh, the other thing you know that I was touching on is, is the depth component, which I think is uh, particularly game-changing. And uh, Joseph, tell us a little bit about how, how that works. Sure, yeah, so we caught up with Brandon from Blexonis in a, in a prior video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And he described how the Luxonis team identified if you're able to triangulate the distance of an object, not only can you do object detection to identify that, for example, you have a car on the horizon, but if you know the constant distance between one camera and the other two cameras on the side, then using the Depth AI software platform, you can infer and identify um, measurement. And so, I mean, spatial AI unlocks new capabilities. Um, for example, if you're a commercial fishery, you can only catch and keep fish that are of a specific length. And um, if you want to be able to do, say, automated identification of both your count of your catch and ensure that you have a sufficient batch that you're able to keep, something like this would basically handle both those tasks at once. Now, I mean, to be clear, not every task requires a sense of depth and object detection and 2D object detection still unlocks massive capabilities, as we'll see today. But I do think that this unlocks uh, new things that I can't wait to see when this ships to everyone in December 2020. But Jacob, I understand that you've uh, got something set up for us to try out today. Do you mind introducing what it is we'll be doing? Yeah, so today we have a tutorial ready for you basically on how to use this technology and a demonstration of what it can do. Um, and so the task we've chosen uh, to tackle is actually the identification of the alphabet in American Sign Language. And we're able to do this thanks to a data set provided by RoboFlow user David Lee. Um, but let's go ahead and dive right in and see if we can get the computer to identify uh, different letters in, in sign language. So what do you say? Should we try it out? I'm excited. Let's dive in. Awesome. The first step is to gather a data set. Here you can see we have American Sign Language letters hosted publicly on RoboFlow, courtesy of RoboFlow user David Lee. Let's take a look at a couple of these images. The next step is to train a model with our new data. We'll go ahead and go through this notebook and form a custom trained model to identify American Sign Language using state-of-the-art object detection technology. While we're working through the notebook, we'll also check to make sure that our model can make inference on test images. Once we're satisfied with our model, we'll go ahead and export it to a representation that is runnable on Depth AI. Now we're gonna go live. Here I have Luxonis Oak D. It's plugged into my computer where I have the custom weights loaded in, and we're gonna go ahead and kick it off. So here we go. It's just a single Python command to kick off our custom model. And you can see here that a video pane pops up where the device is actually doing real-time inference. So now let's go ahead and test it out to see if it can identify letters like O or V, or maybe it can even teach me some sign language. That was awesome. Great work. Thanks. Yeah, it was pretty exciting to be able to build this so quickly. And um, it's amazing the state of the technology is in today. And I, I just kind of wonder, though, like, how could we how could we make it better? <laughs> Collect more data, right? I mean, if you get more data in your inference condition, your model will only improve. So data of doing hand signs with different backgrounds and all these different things. Um, I would always keep track of, just like you showed in RoboFlow, how many letters you have of each class. 
and then yeah continue to to train and deploy to, to Luxonis. Um, can you go into a bit more depth about how I can do this too at home or anyone else? Yeah, certainly. So everything we've done here today is publicly open source to you uh, via a blog post below. We have all the code and all the instructions to be able to do the same thing with your own custom task. Um, so we look forward to seeing all the different applications that you bring forward, uh, both leveraging RoboFlow, uh, Depth AI, and uh, the Lexonis devices. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks so much for joining us today. Happy training.